Uh, it is an interesting question, but role uh, tryptamines uh, might have in uh, uh, naturally occurring uh, episodes of non-ordinary states of consciousness, because uh, people can have these very powerful episodes without doing anything, uh, actually uh, even fighting it. Uh, and uh, these episodes can have uh, the same spectrum of experiences uh, that we see in uh, psychedelic sessions. I mean, uh, you know, the cartography that I originally developed working with LS LSD applies equally to people who have what we call spiritual emergencies, which means uh, spontaneous episodes of non-ordinary states. They can have episodes of, uh, you know, reliving certain emotionally charged uh, experiences from, from childhood, from infancy. They can relive births and in that context have uh, an experience of psycho-spiritual death and rebirth. They can have uh, experiences of um, various uh, archetypal beings, uh, you know, deities, uh, demonic entities. They can have past life uh, experiences. They can experience oneness with other people, with uh, nature, with the universe, and so on. So uh, it's a very interesting question, what would be the factors there, you know, uh, should we assume that, that uh, something uh, abnormal is happening in the metabolism of, uh, of tryptamines? Uh, I think it's certainly a, a challenging and a you know, plausible question. I, I don't know of any, um, any studies that would, uh, that would make it clear that that's what's happening. There were other people like uh, Terence McKenna who were uh, thinking about some of the pineal, uh, um, you know, some of the pineal uh, um, substances, uh, and again the similarity to um, the, the biochemistry that's happening in ayahuasca and so on. Um, you know, uh, Hoffer and uh, um, Osmond, they thought about uh, uh, the possibility of some abnormalities in the adrenaline metabolism, you know, creation of adrenochrome, adrenalutine, and so on. Uh, there were others who were thinking in terms of uh, something happening in uh, the subcellular transfer of oxygen, you know. Uh, so all those things can be happening in the body as well. So I don't know how we could uh, sort of... Uh, uh, you know, narrow it to specifically to, to tryptamine, but but because tryptophan is a is a very very important amino acid. You know, it's a it's a very, I think, a very interesting, very plausible hypothesis.